Okay, so we got the turret out of the way. Um. Oh. Oh, that was probably me that opened that door. Salute those guys. <gasps> oh shit! Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival and Alpha 12.3.3, and I am an old guy gaming, and we are going to get revenge in this episode. <laughs> All right, so hey, here's the thing, you guys. Here's the thing. I started recording last night, um, and what I did in that recording is I went to the... Uh, abandoned reactor right here and I proceeded to try and take over that POI and I got my ass absolutely handed to me I died probably seven times um, and notice that we don't have any deaths at all so far in this series because uh, and I'll and I'll explain w w why in just a second here uh, not why I don't have any deaths, but why it shows zero deaths. So, I went I went through that and it just, you know, I was woefully underprepared for that POI. And it wasn't because I wasn't familiar with that POI, it was because I wasn't familiar with the new version of that POI. Oh my god, Elyon has made that place way harder than it used to be. Um, starting, I think, in 12.3 because... Uh, I just recently went through that on my multiplayer server uh, with some friends of mine uh, on 12, and, and I think we were on 12.2, and it was, you know, on 12.2, it was the same as it's been for a long time. I had no idea how much they've increased the difficulty of that place. And so I wasn't prepared. I didn't have enough, you know, backup armor. I didn't have enough backup weapons. Didn't have enough meds. And I just got the shit kicked out of me. I mean, literally, it was really bad. Um, but here's the problem. When I, um, I, I it, it turned out to be like a total of three, you know, we were three episodes into it. That's how long it took me. So, you know, at the end of what was the recording for part three, I was completely um, out of everything. My armor was broken. Um, my weapons were, you know, my, my rocket launchers and that sort of thing were completely broken. I was out of ammo, out of everything, and I had to go back to the base to replenish to continue on. On the way back to the base, I was in my ship, and I was going to do, um, I was going to do an Atmo jump, you know, um, to go up into orbit, just, you know, and then quickly get back to my base that way rather than going across the planet. And then I got the usual quit and mail error message thing that pops up sometime in this game. And I, I don't know why that happened. It just popped up. And so, you know, I, I I hit the button, you know, quit and mail. And all it would do is it would just keep, it would keep um, appearing, right? It wouldn't let me actually quit out of the game. It would just keep appearing. So I, so I force closed the game with control, alt, delete, task manager, that sort of thing. Restarted. And as soon as I started the game, it came back up again. So, you know, long story short, that I, I broke the game. I absolutely broke that save. Now, fortunately, I do keep backups of my saves, and so um, I reloaded the the save right before you know I started to do the uh, abandoned reactor, and I spent you know a good long time off camera getting ready to go do that place again because I'm pissed and I <laughs> we're gonna do that place come hell or high water we're gonna get through it but man oh man it's gonna be tough. So what did I do to prepare? Well. Um, as you can see on my toolbar, I have a variety of weapons. I've got a pulse rifle. I've got a backup T2 assault rifle. I've got three shotguns. And I've got three rocket launchers. All of them are loaded. I've already checked. Um, and the reason for the duplicates, and you probably already know why, but um, both the shotguns and the rocket launchers have a really bad slow rate of fire. So basically the idea is shoot switch shoot switch shoot switch okay um, before we have to reload and that'll give us you know three chances to, to quickly get off you know three shots let's let's just kind of test that here with um, 
with that. Now, the other reason, though, too, is, is it also gives me backup weapons because my rocket launcher completely broke from a fresh rocket launcher all the way to completely broke, and I still, you know, hadn't completely finished that place. Okay, so basically the idea is we got a monster coming after us. We shoot, we switch, we shoot, we switch, we shoot. Okay, compared to this, shoot... Oh, you know what? They did... Okay, you know what? It looks like they actually did increase the fire rate of this. It is a little faster to do that. Okay. Well, that's right. We're going to keep three shotguns with us anyways because, we, you know, for, for durability in case one of them wears wears out. And what, what I might do in that case, too, is I might actually put a, a backup in the ship. Um which I also have a backup rocket launcher and some rockets in the ship too. So let's actually do that. Let's put let's put a backup shoddy in here. And um I was gonna actually make a few more shotgun shells too. Let's put like, I don't know, I've got 25 rockets in here. Let's do 30 backup shells. So let's just queue up another big old stack of those things. Okay, so yeah, that, that frees us up a slot. Then what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna put I'm going to put the sniper rifle back in... Well, let's actually put it in slot 3. Uh, the sniper rifle, the T1 sniper rifle, you know, useful, of course, for long shots, but it's it's not all that powerful. Um, so it's, it's more situationally useful. Okay, so our shotguns um, actually shoot quickly, but that's not... I don't think that's going to be, be the case with our rocket launchers. So just to demonstrate this, I'm going to waste a couple of rockets, but I just want to make sure. Okay, so here's the fire rate of the rocket if we just had one. One, two, three, four, five, one. So it's it's a count of five, right? Before we can shoot again. So now what we can do is we can go definitely faster. I just didn't hit the eight key quickly enough. Quickly enough. Okay, so that's definitely gonna be worth it, you know, to have those guys, um, you know, three on the toolbar. And we'll just keep two shotties on the toolbar, so that way we have a total of, of t you know, ten shots before we have to actually reload. Um, and, you know, again, for the purpose of having um, some backup weapons. Okay, so we've got the weapons. Um, I am loaded for bear on the rockets. I've got 318 rockets in my inventory, plus the 30 that are back in the ship in case we do die. Um, we're making a few more shotgun shells. I have 857 projectile rounds, but... Um, the projectile weapons, especially the tier ones, are not very effective in that place because, you know, the, the monsters are just so tough on, on hard hard mode like we're on right now. Um, so, I mean, they are useful, but the rocket's really the, the main weapon and the shotgun's the second most effective weapon um, in that place. And you're going to see what I mean when we get there. It, it is no joke. It, it really is. If you guys haven't done the abandoned reactor yet on 12.3, um, oh... Be prepared, man. That's all I can say. Okay, I am also currently making a few more bandages in my survival constructor, and we have 59. I made um, four antiparasite pills, four antibiotic pills, and three antitoxic pills to take with us in case we get infected, because there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of the alien scorpions in there, um, and there's a lot of um, nightmares, or I guess they're called abominations now. They used to be called nightmares. So I think we're probably okay on projectile uh, rounds. And we should also have a few more, yeah, I made a few more explosives too, so we'll have those if we need them. Let's load up on the shotgun shells. Yeah, see, we're almost, <laughs> we're almost completely full, but I'm not really, the only thing I'm going to really worry about looting is, you know, the loot traits when we get to them. And not even first and foremost to get the loot, well, obviously we want to get the loot, but to see if we can hopefully come across a better set of armor, because all I have right now is light armor. Um, right here so yeah I think I think that's it now what do I have in here I've got a couple of burgers we should probably put a little bit of extra food in there you guys can tell you know we're gonna be there for a while we really are because I have to kind of you know I have to be I, I can't just go in there guns blazing or I'm I'm gonna die you know it they're, they're that tough so this is gonna be a while this is gonna be a multi-part episode um, there's just no two ways about it because I have to be careful if I'm going to survive and make it through there. Um, so let's put a couple uh, burgers in here. And I also have um, 16 energy bars in the survival constructor. 
And let's even just top off our food right now with the burger uh, that we have. And I have two rations. One, the, uh, one of those rations is the one we started the game with, and then I actually was actually able to make one, uh, you know, from here too. Okay, so let's let's actually make some more meat burgers. I'm just gonna queue this up. In in regards to the garden, um, so. I was told in the comments, I can't remember who told me this, I'm uh, sorry, I apologize, but uh, I do appreciate, who was it that told me that? If I can remember, maybe I'll, I'll put it in the, when I edit the video. Um, really appreciate that though, and I was told that we only need two pumpkin plants now instead of three to make rations. I didn't know that, that they had changed that, um, which is great because, you know, we have the three here and I could either just keep... Um, what I might actually end up doing is removing one pumpkin plant and putting a, a corn back in. So that way, you know, we can make rations, but then that'll still give us some extra food, uh, grain and veggies that we could still continue making meat burgers on the side too. Okay, so we've got food, we've got medical, uh, bandages. I don't really have uh, the resources yet to make the, you know, the health packs in quantity. I can make some. But, um, you know what? Actually, this would probably be even more useful for where we're going. Um, infected wounds are likely to happen. Um, we've got the anti-parasite pills if we get hit by the abominations because they tend to infect you uh, with parasites. So, I don't know, maybe we queue up a couple of these. Two. I don't know if I have enough to make four or not, but we'll queue up a couple of those. Okay, so, are we ready to go? I think... I think we're ready to go. We're loaded for bear. We've got food. We got medical. We've got um, two additional sets of armor in addition to what we're currently wearing. I have removed the EVA boost too, so that's no longer there. We are going to definitely need the radiation boost though, because uh, once you start getting down into the alien block area, um, it, the the radiation is nine rads down there, so we need this uh, to protect us. And it, I think. Yeah, see, just it's just barely enough. It's right there because it'll be nine rads when we get down into the bowels of that thing. Um, so that that part's good. Um, and of course, we have an armor locker um, in the stingray that we can just set down when, if, and when we need to change out our armor. So we got backup weapons there. Um, might not be a bad idea to put some backup bandages in here too. So we'll put like ten in in there. And that's again, if we in case we die. And we have to go retrieve our stuff. We're not just going in without any anything at all. Oh boy, you guys. <laughs> I think we're ready to go here. I think we're ready to go here. Um Yeah. And I could I you know, I do have the footage, by the way, of myself doing that, but I decided to just put that, you know, archive that footage for the moment anyways, and start over because my I lost my save. So you know, I could show you that footage, but it wouldn't be contiguous with, you know, with the actual save. So that's why we're basically starting over, uh, and I am now much more prepared than I was before. Okay. I think we're ready to go, except for I guess we're waiting for these, aren't we? All right, guys, well, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, there is something else I wanted to show you. There is something else I want to show you. I have decorated the stingray um i i had a, a little bout of insomnia a couple nights ago and so i couldn't sleep so i got up logged into the game figured i'll do i'll just do a couple of off camera things uh and i ended up going going ahead and decorating and making a couple of really small modifications to the stingray um so what we're going to do with this is we're going to take it up into space and screenshot it and then i'll put it on the workshop for anybody that might want to try it out uh, in terms of the modifications, I, I added a, a back end on it because before it didn't have a back end. It was just kind of, um, you know, very blocky looking and, and also had uh, some components exposed as well. So we added the back end. Uh, I did all of the coloring and the dec deco on it, as you can see. And you know, decided to go with a black and red theme. And then I also added a couple of thrusters on the wings so to an improve our reverse thrust a little bit because it was pretty weak sauce. Uh, it's still a little bit weak sauce, but it's not too bad. Um, in terms of performance on this ship, I'm still, I'm still not real happy with the, 
with the strafe on it. Yeah, so the strafe is only 12 uh, meters per second squared, which is still pretty weak. But the, th the problem I have, guys, is I don't have any room left uh, on the CPU. I mean, we are... We're less than 100 uh, points away from the limit. So... I'm, what I decided I'm going to do is I'm just going to live with it because, you know, the ship does roll and bank. Well, no, it doesn't roll very good either, um, for that matter. <laughs> now that I think about it, I'm getting it mixed up with my, my J-Jet. But anyway, um, I, I'm just going to live with it as it is until, you know, we can get it up to Tier 3. And then once we get it up to Tier 3, you know, then we'll be able to do a lot more with this vessel in terms of getting it, you know, to perform well. But it doesn't do too bad. I mean, it's certainly usable. Um, it's just, you know, I'd like it to roll a little bit better. Because it's got good pitch, though, you, you can compensate for that a little bit by banking, you know, do ba doing banking turns. So, you know, that that certainly, you know, is useful. Um, and it's got really good yaw, too. So between the yaw and the pitch, that kind of compensates a little bit for the fact that it, it doesn't roll very good. Um, and, you know, maybe not so much for the strafing, I guess, but it is what it is. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We're waiting for those trauma kits to cook up so why don't we grab our EVA boost and let's just run up into space really quick and take a screenshot of this and then we can put it up on the workshop um, you know as an updated version let's go ahead and save this as version 3 because uh, that's what it's actually named alright let's go to here and we're going to select version 3 and we're going to publish that to the workshop we're going to set it public I'm not going to have any kind of a description on it for now. We'll just put it up there for you guys, and you know, maybe later we'll add some description and that sort of thing to it. Okay, so that is now on the workshop for anybody that wants to uh, wants to use it. Okay, let's get in the cockpit and get our HUD back up here and do another scan, make sure nothing's coming after us. I think we're good. All right, let's go back down to home here get those trauma kits and then we're going to head out to the abandoned reactor and uh, get started with that so I'll, I'll tell you what I'll just meet you guys there and uh, we'll get started oh my god this is not going to be an easy fight you guys not going to be an easy fight all right guys we are here at the uh, reactor a um, couple of the things I, I don't think I told you and it's because I'm kind of get mixed up between this redo uh, recording and the one that I originally did that we don't have anymore. Um, so when when after I was done decorating the ship uh, the other night, you know, when I told you I had a little bit of insomnia, I actually flew around the planet for a while and, and I uncovered some of it and bookmarked a few things, uh, including, you know, finding this uh, reactor that we're at now. Um, and there's also some uh, a couple of unknown artifacts and a couple of unknown helixes around in here. Uh, that we can hit later if we want to and I found um, right here yeah right here there's kind of a really neat um, canyon with with what looks like a river flowing through it and uh, I, I really kind of liked that place so I'm, I'm keeping that in mind as a potential place to move and set up our permanent base because I did tell you a few episodes ago where we're currently at is not necessarily where we're going to permanently be uh, on this planet uh, but I want to uncover, you know, the rest of the planet. We got a big area there and then a little bit more here to do first um, before, you know, we make our ultimate decision on where we're going to permanently live. So we did that. Um, also, I, uh, the, I did also upgrade the cockpit to an armored cockpit. Pick. Bloop. Talk mouth. Good Lord. <sighs> Let's try that again. <laughs> I upgraded this to an armored cockpit. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not that hard to say that shit. Um, so, you know, the material cost on the Stingray is going to be actually a little bit more, but not, I don't think, significantly more. Um, and I don't know if I showed you guys the decoration underneath, but that's what it looks like on the bottom, too. Uh, okay, so, whew, here we go. Oh, man. This is no joke, you guys. It really is no joke. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take out a couple of sentries. And it kind of sucks that we have um, all this cloud cover because I can't see very well. Um, so, I think, I'm trying to remember exactly where the sentries are. There's going to be one right up there, and there's going to be a couple of down, 
a couple down below too. They might be on the corners. We're just going to have to go in and take a couple of hits, you know, to figure it out. And we don't have shields, so we have to be careful. They're just sentry guns, so they're not going to do major damage to us, but we can't sit there and let them wail on us either. I just have to figure out where they are so I can get a beat on them. Oh, they're on those corners. Oh, 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 okay. All right, let's see. Can we get a rocket off on that thing? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm on the other side of the building. I thought I thought they were back here, but I guess they're in the front instead. Okay, so that takes care of that. There's a turret up high here. Right there. Got him out of the way. And then there's going to be a couple more around the front here. Shit, there's one right there. Oh, guess what the enemies can do now? The scorpions and the horrors, they can open doors. Yes, they can, and they will. <laughs> I found that out last night, too. Oh, jeez. Those little bastards can open doors and they will chase you down, so no more using doors to cheese these guys. Hey, we hit level 15, awesome. That means we can actually learn the Tech 2 rocket launcher, but I don't have an upgrade kit. Hmm. What if we should run up into space and see if we can get one? I don't know if we have... We probably don't have enough bank to do that, though. Yeah, well, no, let's just work with the T1s for now. Um, okay, so... I think we have taken care of all of the... sentries. So let's cut our thrusters. And we'll hop out in our body. And make sure... Nothing else shoots at us. Okay. I did remove. remember to re remove my EVA booster, uh, too, again, so that's important. All right, so everything that's in here is backup stuff for now. And um, I had a thought, and I can't remember what, I, what my thought was now. See, they're opening doors. Can you hear that? <laughs> Look at that, man. And I'll tell you what, you guys, if you think these rockets are overkill for this POI, they are not. Trust me. They're really the only weapon we have that we can one-shot anything, um, even better than the shotgun. And so we are going to take full advantage of our rocket launchers. We are going to need to do so. I was going to do something or say something that was important, I think, and I can't remember what the hell it was. All right, well, let's just proceed proceed. What I'm going to do is connect to here. And we will loot these guys for the meat and the parts and all that sort of thing. Uh, you know what actually I'm going to do? Let's get back up here for a second. And we're going to go in with the drone first. Because I think there's a sentry right there. Yeah, oh, there's two sentries. Okay. But what I want to do is I want to make sure that uh, there's nothing in this immediate room that's going to come after us. Where'd that come from? Sentries. Where did that sentry come from? We got hit. Oh, up there. Okay. Yeah, there's two up there. Okay, so let's... Let's go in.
we have to keep an eye on that door because again if something come drops down in that other room they will walk right through that door to come and get us um so now we've got to kind of oh shit as gingerly as possible you know what i'm gonna actually do is let's get back out here for a second come on there I'm gonna see if I can get the turrets to face the other way. Come get me, turrets. There you go. That that'll give buy me a second or two to get in there underneath it and pop it real quick with the shoddy. See now it's looking. Nice. Oh shit. Yeah. Let's let's keep using that tactic. I know this is, is gonna be it's kind of long. And you might be thinking I'm being a little over cautious, overly cautious, but here's the thing. We're wearing light armor, and we can't, we don't want to get hit any more than we absolutely have to if we want it to last for this whole playthrough. Over here, guys. There you go. Okay, we got two shots off on him. Oh, something just dropped. Did you hear that? They might be coming through the door, so let's get back up here. <laughs> oh, I know what I was going to do that I forgot. We need to repair our ship. That's what it was. We didn't take too much damage, so I'm, you know, I'm sure we didn't lose any blocks or anything, but let's just make sure we keep her in tip-top condition here. Let's redo our... Get the turret to turn the other way trick. Oh, yeah, see, there's a scorpion right in that other room. Over here, over here, over here, over here. Come get me. There you go. Oh, here comes the scorp. There he is. Check him out. Okay, let's get this out. Whenever we can use the shotgun for cheese shots and save our rockets, we will do so. I'm just trying to... I don't want him to hit me because he can, he can give me some really nasty cooties. Did you see how he came out the door, though? <laughs> <laughs> this is scary, you guys. It is nowhere near as easy as it used to be. Okay. Let's take our drone in again for a second. So we got... We got uh, the bug, that bug out of the way. I hear more. So how about if... We just have to keep an eye on the door. That's all there is to it. Bastard. Over here. Oh, shit. I thought we killed that one. Oh, no, we didn't because the scorpion came after us. Son of a bitch. Over here, dude. Okay, finally got him out of the way. Can we just get a couple shots off on that guy without getting hit? Okay. Oh man, he was ready for <laughs> he was ready for us. Son of a Yeah, let's try this again. Got it. Okay. Whew. One percent down, ninety-nine percent to go. <laughs> All right. So let's see. The th you guys know this, I'm sure. Most of you probably know this. Um, you know, we now have invisible spawners that you can't see or destroy, and they usually spit out, you know, two to four enemies, but they don't activate until your your actual character gets within range. In other words, your drones don't set them off. So what we have to do now is we have to go in here to try and start, you know, getting them activated um, and then deal with them, you know, as we deal with them. Can I cheese this? Okay, that worked out reasonably well. So it did take a hit or two. Yeah.
Okay. Let's move into the room, but we need to get ready to jump, get back out of here, like, pronto. Oh, you son of a... You hear the footsteps? So creepy. I don't know if I'm hitting that or not. Might be hitting the rail. Okay, so we got them out of the way. I think what we're going to have to do is um, start going up the stairs. But we again, we got to get ready to get out of here because it's going to spawn scorpions in as we get you know closer up or higher up rather. Let's get that back on our toolbar as well. Okay, here we go. So that's a secret area there that we're going to try and get to, but I want to I want to try and exhaust a couple of these other spawners first before we do that. Yeah, I don't see anything so far. Ah, shit! Here they come! Here they come! Here they come! Run away! <laughs> Get out of here, quick! <laughs> Alright, are they coming? Here, let's, let's play this safe. Just heard a door open. Yeah, there they are. They're all oh, shit. <laughs> Let's get upstairs quick. You coming out, dude? not want these guys to tag us. I mean, they're going to hurt, you know, not just for the physical damage, which is significant, but for the high risk of infection and all that, all that kind of crap that they can give us. All right, let's do a, let's do another reconnoiter here. Okay, I just heard the door open. Yep, there he is. You know, I'm, I've I've said this many times. The the sound in this game, it's really hard to 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 tell sometimes where the enemies are because it sounds like they're just right behind you. All right, I think I think we're probably clear for the stairwell, but let's just double check because I don't want to you know mess around down here until I know for sure. But nothing's going to drop down on our head. Oh, no, we're not clear right there. We are now. Yeah, see, look at that guy. Yeah, that's the... We're going to go in that little secret chamber there and deal with those guys after we've confirmed that everything's clear up here. Oh, that scared me. Okay, what's he going to do? He's going down. Did I hear another one just drop? I think I did. 
Can we get up here? We have to be careful because there's a turret up there. Um, is there a way we can shoot them from up here? This is a trap, so that, that thing's going to bust out from underneath us. Okay, it doesn't look like he can get back up here. This might be a trap, too. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> okay, get somewhere where I can shoot you. We gotta be really careful shooting this thing close to the edge of something, because if we don't clear the edge, we're gonna kill ourselves. Right. Trying to get at me. Bastard. Oh! Oh shit, that scared me! <laughs> <laughs> he just came like right there. Fortunately, he went over the side instead of coming after us. Oh, man, that's scary. Okay. Got your ass. Sounds like something just collapsed. Oh, what the hell? Is that's debris? We oh, we must we must have blown it up with our rocket launcher. How funny is that? Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get the stuff from these guys before they despawn. I hear footsteps. Oh, I forgot to check this locker. We got to do that, too. It could even be a suit of armor in there. That'd be nice. So let's go up here. Yeah, there's some of them spawn in this room up here. So that's probably where that last one that just scared the shit out of me came from. And then there's the turret right there. So. All right, I'm let's keep, let's just keep moving up a little bit more and try and get the rest of the spawners to exhaust themselves. You know, the funny thing about this too, you guys, is... Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. This used to be the easy part <laughs> of this POI. No more. It is no longer easy. It's still easier, but it's a lot harder than it used to be. All right, just trying to see if anything's going to spawn in this room here. Wait a minute, was that a a turret just directly to the right of us? Oh, no. I think I just saw the glowing red and I thought it might be. So this, this switch does something and I don't know what it does. I'm not sure what it does, but I, what I'm going to, I'm not actually going to pull it right now. Let's just leave it as is, unless we get into a place where we um, can't proceed or something. And then that would potentially give us a clue as to what that switch actually does. Because I threw it the last time I was in here and it, it, you know, we heard the clunkety clunk noise, but I don't know what it actually did. I never could figure that out. Okay, we're going to go back down and deal with the guy, the guys in the... The secret pa oh shit passage area there but before we do that let's look in here oh nice a laser rifle okay that's not going to do us any good right here now because i don't have any ammo for it but we'll put it in here okay so here's what we're going to do we're going to hop up here and try and get on top of this. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, we're going to have to be on the ball with our rocket launcher here 
to kill oh. these guys. And actually, let's use some C4 on this. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Okay, I thought it fell all the way down. Uh, we'll use some C4 on this. Got him. He didn't waste any time trying to get at me, did he? No, 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 no. Oh, man. You have just a little tiny area that you can stand on this before it tries to throw you off. All right. There might be another monster in there. I'm not sure, but... Let's just go and be ready to shoot this rocket launcher as soon as possible. Very dangerous, too, because at such close quarters we could end up blowing ourselves up. All right, I think I can pop my drone out here and check. Not that it's going to really help because the drone doesn't set off the spawn. Okay. Okay, I think we're okay. Okay, I don't see anything coming out that way. Oh, shit! Did he hit us? I don't think... I don't think he did. In fact, I'm sure he didn't, because we would have taken a hell of a lot more damage than that. I was I was a, still a little bit... Um... Damaged earlier. I, I'm... Let's save... Let's save our bandages. We're not hurt that bad. Gotta be careful, though, because if we get right to the edge, he can he can hit us. We don't want the scorpions tagging us at all, but we really don't want those guys tagging us. I think that's all we're going to get. All right, let's check our, our thing here. Ooh, that's nice. It's also very heavy, too. I'm not... I don't... Well, let's see if we can if we can take this, but if we can't, then we'll... We'll have to leave it behind. Let's disconnect and reconnect to get them off the toolbar. Yes, <laughs> those things really filled us up. We might be okay as long as we don't come across any more really big, heavy things. I mean, it would be kind of nice to have a second medical device that we could set down as a you know, to, to, to cure diseases and stuff. Uh, but that was a really nice find, actually, the T2 repair bay. Um, I would have preferred to find some heavy armor, but maybe we will. There's more more stuff to check as we go along here. Okay, I think we're ready to proceed. So what we're going to do now is go back over to here, and we've got to get that um, that turret shot down that's in that room there. Just want to kind of hop up here. I think we can get... Oh, no, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Shit. Oh, right. It spawns the butt bugs. <laughs> um...
Yeah, what we're going to probably have to do is just jump from here and use the rocket, and we might take a couple hit. Well, actually, can I get it above there? No, it's hitting the rail. Okay. There we go. Okay, we still have another butt bug. I don't want that bastard hitting us with his plasma poop. It hurts. Oh, did they spit out the front now? They must, because he hit us, and it hurt. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's take a bandage. Here's something weird. If you if you take a bandage from your toolbar, then there's like a cooldown on it. But if you shift right click, you can you can take them as quickly as you can shift right click them. It's kind of weird. And it works that way. Okay, so we got the turret out of the way. Um. Oh. Oh, that was probably me that opened that door. Salute those guys. Oh shit! 